Hello again everybody. So today I want to quickly look at how to connect points using the add node uh, using by group instead of by pattern. And the way to do that is first of all let's use an add node. I want to create just points only so I'll use this delete geometry but keep the points. Okay now we're just down to points let's add another add node. Alright, there we go. Going to polygons. And this time I'm going to go to by group. Okay, now the first default thing there is saying it's going to connect all points. And we've seen this in previous lessons where it will just connect all the way to 9, then to 10, and it just does it numerically. Okay. Um, but another option we have is group by endpoints. Now here it's going to group by twos, one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, which makes a lot of sense, okay? We can do it three, four, and five, of course, will look like it's half them. Uh, in this case, we're just going to go all the way to ten, because we have ten, uh, ten points per row. And here we can see all the rows connected. What we have here, in fact, is, of course, all the points, but we have 10 separate primitives, 10 separate lines. If I go to my add node, I can see there that I've actually got my 10 primitives. So that makes sense. Um, but let's say I wanted to have this in columns instead of in rows. Well, how would I do that? Well, the, the idea behind this is I will have to reorder the way that the numbers are organized. So I will use a sort node for that. A sort node will reorganize how the points are presented. I will uh, go there. Okay, I'm going to pop it just before the add node. And let's say, for example, I wanted to reverse this. I wanted to start at 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. I will then go into my reverse, and there we go, right? It, it will do it this way. I'm going to go into no change. Now, no change will be exactly the same as by Z. By Z means that it's all going in the Z direction, of course. Um, but let's say, for example, I want to have it in by X. Oh, there we go. That's the one I'm looking for. That's the columns that I'm looking for. So you can see that in this example, by Z doesn't look like it's changed anything uh, because it's by default sorted by Z, right? But uh, by X, you can see now I've got the columns that I'm looking for and the correct connections. Okay, I hope this was useful or helpful. Any comments, criticisms, please leave them below and I will get back to you. Thank you very much.